Hi, Megan of Megan's Creations here. I just wanted to share a quick design to, um, tip for you, really. And that's to really think about elements before you design them. Just because we can do something in digital doesn't mean we shouldn't be true to the real paper scrapbooking and, and what it would really be like in real life. And so what I have here is you can see two accordion flowers side by side. I just want you to look which one looks a little more realistic. I don't know if you've ever seen an accordion flower made or if you've ever made one yourself with paper, but they take a strip of paper and they accordion fold it and then they curve it around so that it wraps around into a circle. So that paper would be bent around that circle radi radiating out from the center. And so on the left you can see my accordion flower. All I did was I took my paper pattern and I overlaid it right on top of the accordion flower. And is that very realistic? No, that's not how an accordion flower is made. It doesn't have the pattern just stamped on top of it. And so I, you know, I love accordion flowers and I wanted this, um, this is from an accordion flower from a kid I have coming up a collab. Um, I guess you can probably predict the theme, but um, I really wanted it to look realistic. And so you can see on the right side, I have an accordion flower that I think looks a lot more realistic, like the fa paper was wrapped around in a circle. And so what I, I'm going to show you just a couple of things, uh, tips about how I did this. First, I tried to find the seam. Obviously, there's somewhere where the two sides of the paper connect up and I discovered that it was um, right right about here um, let me circle it, right about here and it's kind of hard to see it's not it's really hard to see the seam down here but I could see the double layers of paper right here so find that seam and that'll be where you put the first strip okay and so what I did is I took my paper that the pattern that I wanted on and I cut it into the same height and width of strips of it, made it little strips, and I, I cut them and I, I have them all in separate layers. And so if you look here, um, you'll see that I have, I have them in strips, okay? And so then I took each strip and I lined it up onto the accordion flower. And um, my strips were a little long, so I, I used the pen tool and I would cut, and because they're they're being cropped to a triangular area. I had to use my pen tool to cut. Uh, well, not the pen tool. I use the polygon, the lasso polygon tool, polygonal lasso tool. Tool. I, I use that to select areas to trim off of my rectangles. And I took each piece and I would rotate it slowly. When I would add the next piece, I would rotate it slowly and use this. And I I'd often would cut along a seam right here or bend and um, to make it a straight edge and and just keep rotating and try to match up the ends as best I could to to make it really look like this paper had been bent and folded all around the circle. Uh, it may seem like it's a really, really extra long process and it is and but it's important to make your design stand out that you you know don't just look like the the bland and you know just kind of a lazy way. <laughs> um, it's you know this this took me you know probably thirty seconds to just put the over put the pattern on and and overlay it. And this on the right side once I got my template and I saved it because I've done this before in my doctor's orders kit and I saved it because it was a lot of work and it um, made it easier for me to just you know save it and then um, add my pattern in later and so it took me about 10 minutes to cut up my paper and then line up everything and clip it on there but it's um, it's worth the effort when it looks more realistic and more like paper scrapbooking so I challenge you to really think about how a piece would be in real life and don't just go with an easy overlay that's not really realistic. So that's my tip for this week. Really challenge yourself. Go that extra mile as a designer. And we'll see you next time.